you help that student out while I have this one? Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Amal, and I'm going to be helping you to register for your classes today. Mm -hmm. It's nice to meet you too. Now, this may take a minute, but we're going to get you signed up. I'm going to explain a bit of what's going on. We'll look at these. Um, get your books as well. The schedule might not be ready, but that will be sent to the address and whatnot that you give us. So let's get started. Don't want to waste a lot of your time. Okay. So we're first going to start off by putting you in our system, okay? Now, did you send in your ACT in high school diploma? You did. Okay, let me look that up. So, let me see if you're in here. Can I have your name? Okay. That's a kind of common name. Did you sign up on our online um, our website? Okay. We'll look up through there. And your birthday? Okay, yeah. Let me see your license really quick. Okay. I think I found you. Okay, this must be you. Okay, so we're going to take a look. Because usually I'll discuss tuition and fees with you. But sometimes, based on ACT scores, you can have a scholarship. So, we're going to look up your score and see what you qualify for. Okay. Now, you will have to pay the fees. But it looks like you had pretty good grades. Oh, you have all the classes you need, your credits. And your ACT score has qualified you for pretty much a free ride, excluding the fees. So, no tuition, but you do have to do fees and you get your books. Okay. Well, I have the books already, so I can hand those off to you in a minute. But, yeah, your score was pretty good, actually. So we're going to go through and put you in our system all the way so, and talk about what needs to be done. So we have your basic. Now is the address correct on your license? Okay. That's good. You have most of your basic classes, so you're just going to be doing the associate's degree nursing program. Now, you're going to be attending classes in the beginning, at least I think on, we're going to put you in this one, Mondays and Wednesdays from 8.30 in the morning to 12.30 in the afternoon, okay? And you're required to attend two to four Tuesday classes per semester, okay? And you're going to have to do 90 hours of clinicals on rotations. And um, I think those, let me check the schedule. Okay. Those are usually done on um, Thursdays and Fridays, okay? Now you might have to do a couple of evening clinical rotations. Nursing can be very, um, it's not the easiest, but it's very rewarding if you're passionate about it. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have internet access at your um, house, place of living? You do, okay. Well, I'm going to set up your email for school and just be your name. And... You can actually download a majority of the lectures from our site. 
you will have to attend skill laboratories and simulation laboratories throughout the semester. Okay, so we're just doing a bit and making sure I have the right books. I think I picked out the right ones. We of course have handbooks. For fees, what I'm talking about is you'll have to have certain uh, supplies. Not in the beginning, because now you're just going to do learn the ropes. You're not going to be very hands-on quite yet. But later on, you know, you're going to need them. Um, scissors, a watch, stethoscope, um, white leather shoes, very specific, a lab coat, and of course we have generic stuff of that. Um, you don't need to do your books. You will need to pay for testing in your NCLEX though. And you'll have to pay for your drug screen and your background check. Then your application for licensure and your diploma. And cap and gown, you know. But those are very small compared to what you've acquired through your scholarship. So it's not too much to worry about. Now you'll be enrolled at WCCS, okay? The unofficial student of ours. And you will have to, at the beginning of the semester when you come in, when you get a tour, we will take a picture of you and you'll have your student ID. Excuse the phone. Okay. Now, you will need all of our faculty members. Our team is extremely qualified to deal and teach you. Uh, they've been around quite a while now. And uh, again, I will give you your books and also some paper with their email addresses on them in case you do have a question you want to maybe wait to contact to see exactly which teachers we will be dealing with now we have your health form let's see what else you will need to do a TB skin test every year okay okay so we're gonna make a call to your doctor Later, but I'm pretty sure we have most of your stuff. Let's see. Documentation of tetanus in past 10 years. Measles, rubella vaccine. Okay. Basically making sure you have your vaccines done. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can't meet any of these requirements, you're going to need to email me or call Wallace and but if you would call me, I can make sure to handle it all personally. Of course, your background check and your drug screening. Now, we do recommend an annual um, influenza vaccination as well. That is optional, but I would suggest it. Now, here we go. We're going to do some more. Your GPA was really high, so you're eligible for all these classes. We're putting you higher up. Mm -hmm. Good standing so far. You meet the technical standards that are required. You don't have any issues, so, so far so good. We're doing good. Your background screening will be back in a bit. Let's go through. Now, you do fall within the deadline for the fall admission. That's good for you. So you get to start soon. Now we're going to do our application packet, okay? 
So I have your name, so I don't need that. Now, can I get your social security? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see. City. Can I have your telephone number? Mm-hmm. Now, is that a home or a cell phone number? Okay. We can do both, yeah. So let me get that too. Okay, very good. Now, we're gonna look at... Here it is. Okay. Let me sign off real quick. Good job. Okay, now your high school graduation year. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> your high school's name. Did you go? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah, I know people who went there. They quite liked it. Did you enjoy it? Let's see. No GED. You have your diploma. You've taken some college courses. Not here, but we already have them. Your credits, so you're good. Let me just put that in real quick. Okay. We're so far so good. You did have your testing of your visuals and hearing and um, tactile snow. We went through and checked all those out. Motor functions. You fully meet everything, so doing perfect. You already have your CPR class finished, so you don't need that. Let me check that off. So you don't have to waste your time. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask if you understand basically what you're signing up for. That you will be doing clinicals, dealing with blood, bodily fluids. Um, this can take a toll on you. It's very serious, but it is rewarding. If you want to make sure that you're passionate about it before going into it, okay? Mm, okay. So we're going to sign up on that. I'm pretty sure you're going to be accepted. Now you're going to need to bring your username and your password to WCCS every day because there will be classes on the computer but it'll still be very interactive. The teachers will still be very hands-on in helping you. It's just updating, you know, technology. Going with the flow. So we're going to submit this. Again, we're not worried about your GPA. It's good. You far past the minimum. You're in good standing. And your grades are okay now. You have your Algebra 2 and higher level math, your chemistry already, and biology. Okay. And you're a permanent residence of Otaga, Chilton, Dallas, Lowndes, or Perry County. So, we're all good. So, you will be taking the fall semester. Now, you will have to meet certain requirements and academic courses are required of a generic program. So, let's look up here. So about a total of, I think, 72 hours for the whole thing. Let's see, because it's six credit hours of fundamental nursing, one of health assessment, one introduction. This is in fall, by the way. 
I'm okay. You don't get all your books now, though, for your two years of school. Okay. So we went over the drug screening. We will do random drug tests here and there, just to make sure everything goes well. Now, there are some general guidelines. You will be given a student handbook for those, though. You're not staying on campus, are you? Okay. So, that's not applicable. And bring all your information at all times. And if anyone tries to make you do this all again, direct them to me. You only need to register one time. And your information has gone through. You are good to go. So now we're going to discuss your books. Let me check off. I think we're good. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now we're going to go over your books. Now they're all very heavy. And also, I recommend when the time does come to get all your supplies for school that you check out Primacare. Um, the school is sponsored by them, so you will get a deal. I can give you their information as well. That's who we tend to work with. And they deal with medical supplies, okay? So, they ship pretty fast. They're located out of Montana, though. So, I'll put this in your form to send a care form as well, just in case. Okay, so you'll get that as well. It'll look something like this. And they'll send a book of all their supplies. So even after you're done with schooling, they can provide scrubs, um, your pin lights, anything that you need, stethoscope, what have you. Me and submit. Okay, we're good. Now here are the books you'll be using. They are very heavy now. This is the Comprehensive Nursing Care Book. This is pretty much just the nature of nursing. This includes fundamental nursing skills, um, mental health nursing as well is included, maternal and newborn nursing, pediatric and adolescent, and this has transitional courses as well. Here. Um, LPN being an R, um, going to an RN, this book is acceptable as well. Let's see, and usually these books are pretty expensive. This will be your workbook. For your nursing care book. I'm making sure it hasn't been written in. Sometimes we have people who like to mess with us. But I don't see any flaws, and it does have the rings in case you want to stick it in a notebook. Next, we have the Essentials of Anatomy and Physiology. This is the fifth edition. These books, um, this is also a workbook, by the way. Now, when you are done with these, some people do like to sell them, but lately you might have issues doing that because we do update the books every year because in the medical world, uh, we're constantly finding out new things and new things are popping up to learn, so uh, you might have to just keep these. <laughs> this is another workbook. Um, basically, it's just a second edition. 
the other one. Uh, similar format. Yeah, filling out veins, identifying body parts, the pattern, regulations of heart rate, uh, parts of the eye. Just setting you up to be a well rounded student. We also have the essentials of pharmacology and health occupations. Like this. All of these are pretty much basic and practical. And just looking through this one, we don't really want to write on it. Again, these are yours. But most of this work will be done on the CD, okay? So you'll just use that either um, here as well as at home for homework sometimes. Now, excuse the train. We're in a busy area sometimes. Um, this is medical terminology. This one is, I think, not to be written in as well, so this one is This is going to be your best and worst friend. You're going to spend a lot of time with this book. And you're going to grow to hate it. But you need to pretty much know everything in that book. Um, a lot of your tests are going to be words. And you have to give the definition. Sometimes they'll reverse it. And they'll give you the definition. And you have to know the word. It just depends. This is your introduction to clinical pharmacology this has a cd in it as well so you don't have to write in it and these are all in pretty good shape and torn in and this is your basic nursing essentials for practice this basically gives you um tells you what might go wrong and how it tests you on how you would deal with those kinds of situations on um, emergencies and you won't have to carry those again every day because your classes are set up in a way but um, I would recommend a backpack or something to carry because you will have um, these are really heavy <laughs> and you'll have your supplies but it's it's gonna all work out. So we have your books. Let's go see. Usually they move pretty fast on the application. And you will come to me. I'll be the person you come to when you want to do your NCLEX and sign up. I'm pretty much going to be your right hand woman with anything. Dealing with classes, registrations, what have you. Okay? Now, I think it went through. You are approved. So you are now officially a nursing student. I don't know where I got the accent from. <laughs> you will be starting fall semester towards your associates in nursing. Great. Okay, let's check. And it's good. Okay. Okay, we've got you set up. Thank you so much for coming in and spending this time with me. And I'm so happy that I got to be the one to help you on this journey. Yes. Um, feel free to contact me at any time. And if you need any help, our team is here to help you no matter what. Well, I hope you look forward to the upcoming school year. And I can't wait to see you again. Have a nice day.